Simmers, it's me, Curious Safe One again, and I'm back with another season's Let's Play. Let's get into this. We're going to cook a, a fabulous meal. Hope to God we don't burn it or anything. I just hope not. Because my my female sim seems like the type of person that would um, burn a turkey meal. So, of course, cook a grand meal. Hmm. Let's... Let's see something here. So she is going to cook a turkey dinner. Oh, she doesn't work today. It's a holiday dinner, of course. She doesn't work today. So, I mean, she still has to do these, these thingies. But she can cook the meal. And, of course, she can naturally... Of course. Um, do two things at once. The results are in, and the lucky lottery winner is really the best of luck. It's time for her to quit that job and stop thinking about getting one. One thing is for sure with these winnings, she may have a suitor and long lost cousin lined up around the block. I can't. I can't. I can't. Uh, this is annoying. Okay, so what do we need? Decorate the perfect bit of color and decor can really set the stage for any holiday. To participate, place holiday decorations from build mode. Decorate the house exterior to place, placing and using the attic stack decoration box. Huh. I mean, I don't really decorate for Thanksgiving. We legit just cook a meal. But then again, that's something we do all of the time. <laughs> so, ooh, we still got money for our holiday. Mm, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Really? Really? Resume. Resume. I don't know why he left. Uh, I don't know how long this is supposed to take. Alright. He's hungry. Time out! What are these things doing? <coughs> In my house? Um, what are these? Alright, guys. We have to take a closer look to these things, because I don't really know what they are. And honestly, they kind of freak me out just a little bit. We're going to take these notes. They just appeared. I didn't place them. I didn't None of that. None of that. None of that. None of that. So, basically, what is this? Happy Gnome Garden Pal. We don't have a garden. Why do we have a garden gnome? All right. And then we have Mr. Floppy the Gnome. Can we sell them for money? Can we? I mean, do we really have to have these gnomes? These gnomes really freak me out. The Castly Ghostly Gnome. You know what? We're going to sell you. We're going to sell you because we need the money. And I don't know how you guys got in my house, but you guys freak me out. You guys move all on your own. Apparently, you guys came in my house without me inviting you guys in. Let's see if there's any more around because, honestly, if there's any more around, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. They were just in my kitchen. Like, it's probably why she ran to the bathroom because they freaked her out too. They just appeared. All right. 
so I'm pretty sure we're, we're done with these gnomes. But this is the attic stack of decorations. So we're actually going to put the attic stack of decorations just because, well, <laughs> we can. And I really don't know how these gnomes really got into my uh, game without me picking them, but that's creepy. That's real creepy. We're just going to um, look at some decorations. Uh, so these are all the holiday decorations. We're just going to pick them all. Yeah, there you go. All right, so we have the holiday festival fashion mailbox. We have the Christmas wall thing, a lump of coal, a seasonal rug. I wonder, do they have one for Thanksgiving? That seems pretty. That seems real pretty. Okay. Then we have this horn of plenty. Now this is mainly like Thanksgiving. So, I mean, our table isn't big enough for this uh, plentiful feast that we're about to have. But we have this wreath and we have a spring wreath. I used to make these in school. And then we have a banquet table. The one table. The one table. I guess we can put that over here and then we can change the color and see which one would be best for... Yep, that looks good. That has little uh, pumpkins and stuff on it. That looks, that looks a lot like uh, ooh, skull and bones. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all we have. I prefer that one. Alright. So, we have that table. And then we have the rabbit's hat. Whatever that is. What is the rabbit's hat? I don't know. Then we have... What is that? I guess Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays to you. Yeah, no. We're not going to put up no signs or anything. We're pretty pretty good I guess I like that that's pretty nice but like I said I'm not one for signs this is what my mom does when she gets cards she makes them to a little wreath and little stars and that and then what's that ooh that's pretty okay so we're almost done here and then this is a reindeer this is a reindeer. Legit reindeer out of wood. Okay. This is the Nutcracker. Everybody knows who the Nutcracker is. The fruit Boris, the Nutcracker Prince. And the pumpkins. Candles. And then this is... Uh, for, like, winter and stuff. And, of course, the epic Christmas tree, guys. We have a Christmas tree, a Christmas tree, oh how I love your branches. So, we have this little door wreath. Can we even put it around a door? No, not really. We can't put it around any of our doors, because our doors are probably, oh yeah, we can. Alright, that's pretty cool. And we have a light up snowman. We have a, a really fancy smancy decorated Christmas tree. And then we have another door decorator thingy. And then illuminating tombs, which are probably for like Halloween. And then we have, this is also for Halloween, the pumpkins. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's all we have, which is pretty cool. We did keep these attic decorations boxes and we're gonna leave it right there just because and um hopefully she does not burn the, the turkey 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 turkey
What is going on here? I don't know. It looks like she's having technical difficulties with this gobble gobble. Hmm? I'm confused. Holiday gnomes. Give respect and gifts to the friendly gnomes in the hopes of festival rewards. To participate, find gnomes around your lot. Click on the gnomes and select Appease the Gnomes. No! No. I'm sorry. That, no. Grand Meal. Okay, so that we pretty much... Grand Meal. A most delectable feast awaits stomach scrawling in anticipation. Just make sure someone else volunteers to do the dishes. Cook a grand meal by clicking on the stove or refrigerator to start the feast. Select call to grand meal on the compute on the completed dish. And so call to grand meal. Come on, everybody. Let's we're gonna have I mean it's Thursday, it's six forty eight PM. That's about the time I normally have dinner. So we're going to eat and she's going to eat. With this big old Thanksgiving doohickey. I mean, it's kind of poor. I mean, it's really kind of poor. What does her brother say? Ugh. Like, it looks like he doesn't want to eat it. Roger loves this suggestion from being good. Spend time and reflect and be thankful. Who knows what tomorrow will bring to participate. Discuss what you can be thankful for with another sim. So, of course, he's going to say what he's thankful for. So, uh, where would that action be? Enjoy company. And uh, let's see. Be thankful and then she's going to enjoy his company and be thankful enjoy company and uh, be thankful so she's gonna do it he's gonna do it and yay so why didn't it huh. what Oh, okay. I was about to say, why didn't it? Alright, we don't respect, we don't give rummage to gnomes, although the Sims want you to. Personally, I don't make it about that. It's we, we celebrate Thanksgiving for one reason and one reason only. Because when Christopher Columbus came to the New World, and when I say came and not discovered it's because he didn't discover that of which was already occupied by humans when christopher columbus came to the new world the problem that arose was mind you a lot of native americans some were civilized and some weren't which as in they were cannibals they ate people <laughs> and doing in doing this pilgrimage to the new world you know christopher S. columbus priest got actually gobbled up alive like he got eaten by one of these native american tribes that were cannibals so the reason why we we pay homage to this tradition is for the simple fact that we want to thank God for not only giving us another day, but to also giving us our knowledge of the past. So that's really what Thanksgiving's really all about. It's not, you know, anything other than that. Like back then, what they were basic, what Christopher Columbus came over here to do was, you know, to spread the gospel, to spread the word of God, to spread the word of that of which people did not know of. So, when they did the Thanksgiving, of course, the reason why they did Thanksgiving was for the sheer fact of 
sharing the good news. That's what Christians call it, sharing the good news. So that's really what the Thanksgiving was all about, having two different cultures uniting under one common reason, which is the knowledge of God. So that's a good little history lesson that, you know, school doesn't really teach you. So now you know. So, of course, we're almost done, and I'm not going to pay homage, of course, to the gnomes, because they freak me out. <laughs> big time, big time. But what I can tell you is that she is sleeping already. Like, this is un freaking believable. I'm actually going to stop this here. We had Thanksgiving, of course. And I'm going to stop this here, and I'll see you in the next episode. So it's me, Kiri, safe one, and it's... Same bye now. <laughs> bye.